now coming to the diagnostic peritoneal lavage. So as we talked about, diagnostic peritoneal lavage is basically the in, like the the reason why you're going to perform is the same. What is it saying? What you want to know? You want to know whether the intraperitoneal fluid is present or not. Okay, so that is what is the purpose of performing a diagnostic peritoneal lavage. So let's talk about this. What is a diagnostic peritoneal lavage? Diagnostic peritoneal lavage is an invasive, quick and accurate test to check for the internal bleeding and ruptured organ in the abdomen and ruptured organs in the abdomen. Okay, I hope you have understood this particular point, guys. Okay, now tell me one more thing. If at all, let's say there is a diaphragmatic rupture. Okay, if at all there is a diaphragmatic rupture, will fast be helpful? Not really. Many times the fast is not going to be helpful. In those particular cases also, diagnostic parental vage can yield some kind of findings. Okay, so we'll talk about that. Okay, now uh, it is used in both kind of blunt trauma and the penetrating trauma. All these fine, uh, all these things are fine. First introduced in 1965, all these particular things are fine. So this is important. Diagnostic parental lavage was once more common, but has been mostly replaced by the less invasive tests like the FAST and the CT scan. So before we had a like a easy availability to the ultrasound machine and the CT scan and everything, diagnostic parental lavage was very, very commonly done because I'm repeating again, the indication is the same to look for intraperitoneal fluid. But once we have had the better availability to the ultrasound and the CT and everything, yeah, that, that is something which is which has replaced this whatever diagnostic parental lavage. Now, why DPL is still used? So it remains most sensitive test. So it is even more sensitive than the fast. Okay, it's not going to miss because in the fast, if it all you do not get a window, or if it all the operator is not able to kind of evaluate the patient in proper manner, you might miss the diagnosis. But DPL will be having a better kind of sensitivity and accuracy in order to diagnose the intraperitoneal fluid. Okay, injury to the mesentery and the hollow organs and all those particular stuff, right? Now, the fast and the CTs can obviously have their own advantages, such as being non invasive, but they have a limitations. What are the limitations? Ineffectiveness in detecting the retroperitoneal and the diaphragmatic injuries. So, diaphragmatic injuries are also not that well uh, detected by the fast. Fast is dependent on the operator skill. There are few good radiologists, there are few very, very bad radiologists. CT scan requires a stable patient and involves the Radiation risk. Okay, yeah, all these particular things are fine. Indications of DPL, blunt trauma is useful uh, when the patient is in shock and the fast is unavailable, unavailable or equivocal. Okay, in both these scenarios, you can easily perform a diagnostic retinal lavage. The patient's abdomen examination is unreliable due to the altered mental status or the spine injury. That's all fine. Uh, CT scan is unavailable. Okay, so all these are the indications. If at all you do not have access to all these particular things, yes, you can definitely perform a diagnostic retinal lavage. Other specific reasons, suspicious physical signs, for example, the lamp belt injury, injuries to the nearby structures, lower rib or the pelvis, okay, and prolonged absence of the contrast uh, with the uh, like uh, with the patients during the procedure, okay, uh, prolonged absence of the contact with the patient during the procedure, okay. So what you need to understand is that in the mesentric theorem, many times the fast will not kind of yield good results because the amount of bleeding might be a bit less to begin with and yeah it might kind of miss it can be missed on the fast but yes tpl is kind of better so all these particular things which you saw uh like seat belt injury and whatever the lower refraction the pelvic fracture and everything in these particular scenarios when you suspect that you have a high suspicion of an injury it's okay to perform a diagnostic parental lavage in these patients penetrating trauma now again uh, this is from one of the review articles not a very very absolute indication but you you can consider to perform this 